It's a pretty green vinyl guy here, and uh, this is a video in response to Sean Locke's uh, 10 Holiday Records. And uh, Sean, I've enjoyed watching your channel. Um, I like all your quirky uh, expressions and your uh, fun little add-ons you do uh, on the videos. And uh, kudos to your success and all of your uh, uh, followers that you've gotten. Um, so 10 albums. Unfortunately, I'm a little late to the game So some of these have already been shown, but I do have a couple that I think makes it worthwhile doing the video So uh, let's get started. So the first one I have is the 12-inch uh, uh, pressing of the Do They Know It's Christmas, which was the uh, uh, Done by Band-Aid, which was a, a makeup of the top uh, British musicians at the time. It was a project uh, started by Bob Yaldoff and Midge Urge, and uh, they decided to release um, this album to raise money over Christmas for Ethiopia famine. And uh, there's a really good documentary on YouTube about the making of this album and how Boy George uh, saved the day. So check that out. Uh, this is the Canadian pressing. 12-inch, uh, it's uh, got a remix of Do They Know It's Christmas and the original Do They Know It's Christmas. So very good. Um, this is the Christmas album. This is part of the, now that's what I call music series from the UK. Um, this is their Christmas best of. Um, just a, a who's who of, of who in popular music uh, back in the 80s. Uh, with some classic retro songs uh, thrown in. But you have the likes of uh, Band-Aid, of course. Uh, you have Slade, Merry Christmas Everybody, which is an iconic uh, song in the UK. Uh, Paul McCartney, Wonderful Christmas Time. Uh, John and Yoko, Happy Christmas, The War Is Over. Uh, the Beach Boys, Little St. Nick. Uh, it's even got Bing Cosby's White Christmas. So this is a great uh, compilation. Um, of some of the good stuff. Uh, Wham! Actually, another great one on there. Uh, Queen. So yeah, it's a good one. Uh, and probably not long after that came out, in North America, we got a very special Christmas. This was the same sort of the idea. I remember getting this when I was a kid because my mom's classic songs were just killing me every Christmas. And uh, this is a who's who of the day in the 80s. Uh, some standout tracks, uh, actually the Pointer Sisters, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, um, Whitney Houston, Do You Hear What I Hear, uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Merry Christmas Baby, that's one of my favorites on here, um, you got U2, you got Brian Adams, Run Rudolph Run, uh, Stevie Nicks, Silent Night, yeah, just a fantastic uh, album with uh, all the who's who on there. This one I actually got, I have playing in the background. This one has been shown, but it's it's a great album. Uh, this is James Brown. Santa's got a brand new bag. This came out in 1968. Uh, this is not an original, and uh, this is a Rhino Records uh, reproduction. But yeah, it's already been talked about. Great, great album. And uh, this one was also talked about. Um, the Phil Spector's Christmas album with the Ronettes. Um, the Crystals, uh, Darling Love singing White Christmas, and uh, this is also a reproduction on Cornbread Records, and uh, again another iconic Christmas album. So that's sort of what I have for normality. Um, I've got a, my next five are I didn't see anybody post them, so I think that makes them a little unique. So here we go. Um, this is uh, the Kinks. Uh, Come dance in the best of the Kinks which was released uh, in 86. It's their hits from 77 to 86, which was sort of a bit of a weak period for the Kinks. Um, but on side four, they put their Father Christmas uh, single, which is a great little Christmas song. And uh, if you haven't heard that, look it up on YouTube. Great song. Uh, what's, how can you not like Ray Davies singing about Father Christmas? Um, so yeah, that's the Kinks. Now this one, I'm, I'm going to stretch a bit, Sean, if you'll allow me, but uh, I'm going to go with uh, Leonard Cohen's uh, Various Positions. Of course, this has the iconic Hallelujah 
on it, which I think we could all argue, uh, even though it's not a Christmas song, we would all uh, happily sing that song on Christmas morning. Um, that being said, what a great album. Uh, and I gotta get a Canadian in there, right? Uh, Leonard Cohen. Uh, this next one, uh, I saw an interview with Chrissy Hine and uh, she said that uh, she never intended 2,000 Miles to be a Christmas song, but a Christmas song it has become indeed. Uh, so this is The Pretenders, The Singles, and uh, 2,000 Miles is the second song on side two. And uh, yeah, I guess it's all about how far people will travel to be together, especially at the holidays. So that's The Pretenders. Uh, the next one is uh, very close to my heart. It's um, one of my favorite songs of all time, never mind just a Christmas. Uh, this is the band The Pogues from Ireland. And of course, the song is uh, Fairy Tale of New York, which uh, Shane sings with Christy McCall. Just a classic song. Uh, brilliant album. Brilliant band. What swagger. Uh, but if a song's ever going to make you cry, it's Fairy Tale of New York. Um, I also encourage you to check out uh, Christy Moore Live. He sings a brilliant version of it. And then last but not least, to round out my top 10 is uh, the song I play every New Year's uh, morning. Of course, this is uh, New Year's Day by U2. Uh, this is the 12-inch uh, that I've actually had since uh, it came out in, uh, what are we at, about, yeah, 82. So it was that small batch of albums that I managed to keep. I was a huge U2 fan, so I kept every U2 album I had. But yeah, New Year's Day by U2 holiday favorites. So yeah, uh, I hope that brings something to the table that hasn't been already discussed. And, uh, you know, best of the season to everyone in the VC. And uh, thanks for doing that, Sean. All the best. Cheers.